Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of fixture IDs and how it applies to the operation of the Force 1.0. Now, a fixture ID essentially defines the physical location of a lighting fixture with respect to all others that are included within your DMX universe. It is very important that you define these appropriately because the internal effects engine of the Force 1.0 utilizes the fixture ID information to generate a virtual map of your lighting setup. Now, if you assign these effectively, you will be rewarded with a light show that contains a myriad of effects generated in real time that look pre-programmed. Now, each lighting fixture must be assigned a fixture ID number when creating the DMX Universe profile. Now, in order to give an example of setting up fixture IDs appropriately, I'm going to use the lighting rig that we have set up, which you may have seen already in some office tutorial videos and office demo videos. Now, the way I assigned fixture ID numbers here is I essentially took a step back and I looked at my lighting rig, exactly how you see here in this image, and I started from either the left or the right, it doesn't matter. In this case, we'll start from the left and I start assigning fixture IDs sequentially from left to right as I walk through my lighting rig. Now, starting from the left, I have two fixtures over here at the far left location. I have our Intimidator Spot 360, and also in this totem stand, I have an uplight. So what I did is I assigned the uplight a fixture ID number of one, and I also assigned the Intimidator Spot 360 a fixture ID number of one. You can assign lighting fixtures the same fixture ID. What that will result in is the Force 1.0 treating them as if they were one fixture, which is perfectly acceptable. So the uplight in this totem stand on the far left setup gets a fixture ID number of one, the Intimidator Spot gets a fixture ID number of one. Now moving to the right, I assigned this vertical placed bar light a fixture ID number of two. And then because I want pixel mapping effects to really be impactful, I concluded this upper bar light separately. So this bar light was given a fixture ID number of three. Then continuing moving to the right, I assigned this lighting fixture four, as well as this moving head a number four. So these are sitting right on top of each other, so I grouped them together by assigning them the same fixture ID number. Continuing to move right, this one was given five. This panel was given six, along with this moving head is also six. This center panel was given seven, along with the geyser was also given seven. This panel, number eight. This moving head, number eight. This panel, number nine. Then to keep a symmetrical layout, as you saw on the left, I provided this fixture, a fixture ID number of 10, along with this moving head, a number 10. And then this bar light on top was given a fixture ID number 11. This vertical placed bar light was given a fixture number 12. And then just like on the far left, I assigned this Intimidator Spot 360, a fixture ID number of 13, along with the up light in the totem stand number 13. Now you could have done this exactly the same way in the reverse order, starting from the right to the left. It will work perfectly fine. This is how I would recommend approaching the concept and assignment of fixture IDs in your lighting rig. Essentially, take a step back, look at your lighting rig, and start from one extreme or the other, either the far left or the far right, and start assigning fixture ID numbers as you move from one direction to the other extreme ending point of your lighting rig.